After posting my video about shooting Harman Phoenix 200 in Hanoi, Vietnam, and then my recent video about spending a week in Thailand, I got quite a few comments on both of those videos asking me which flash unit I was using on my cameras. I haven't gotten that many questions about a specific piece of gear in a long time, so I thought I'd make a short and sweet video about that flash unit, which is this guy. When I was in Thailand, I had a Nikon flash that I was using on my Mamiya 7.2 and Canon AE-1 and that ended up breaking. I needed a replacement and I went into a camera store in Bangkok and this is all they had. So I decided to pick it up. It was about 25 bucks. And this particular unit that I have says Andor or Andor on it. But after returning to the US and looking for this flash from a US seller, I found a couple different links on Amazon that are just unbranded. So it appears to be the exact same flash unit, but with no logo or branding on it at all. It's a cheaply made Chinese manufactured plastic flash unit. It's not a premium quality product at all, that's for sure. But what you give up in quality, you get back in portability because this thing is slim, tiny, it fits in the palm of my hand. You can throw this in your bag, in your pocket if you wanted to and just kind of forget that it's there. It is perfect for traveling. On the top of the flash, there's just four buttons. It's a very simple flash to operate. You got your power button, you hold that down to turn the unit on. Then there's a manual and a slave mode. I've only used this on manual, which is the setting you want to use if you're using this flash on a hot shoe, but there is a slave mode. And then at the very end, there's a little pilot button to test fire the flash. A couple of cons with this flash, aside from it's just plasticky, poor build quality, is that one, the two AA batteries that this flash takes, they don't last that long. On my recent two week trip to Thailand, uh, I think I went through two or three full sets of AA batteries with this flash. Now I was using the flash every day for at least a couple of shots a day. Um, and I was using Amazon Basics AA batteries on that trip. So you could probably extend the battery life if you picked up some Duracells or a better quality battery, but the batteries do die a little bit quicker than I'd like them to. The other con to this flash is that it only fires at one power level. So you get one intensity out of this flash and that's it, which can be a little daunting if you're coming from a flash unit that has an auto feature or a camera that has TTL auto or something like that. You know, it's hard to kind of gauge what settings you need to have to get a correct exposure. But to give you guys a little guideline, for the settings to use on your camera with this flash, I'm gonna go ahead and put a test roll of Portra 400 through my Mamiya 7.2 at some different distances. And I'll let you guys know the settings I'm using so you can kind of gauge what the best practice might be when using this flash on your camera. Okay, for this first test, I went outside, completely dark out, popped the flash on the Mamiya 7, and basically just took photos of my subject at different distances, left, my film speed and shutter speed the same obviously and then was only adjusting the aperture so here is my subject three and a half feet away f11 and here's f8 and then here's five feet away f8 and then f5.6 And then here's eight feet away, F5.6 and F4. And for this second test, I did the exact same thing, just indoors in a relatively small room with all the lights turned off. So again, this is Portra 400 in the Mamiya 7, 1 60th of a second, three and a half feet away, F11, and then F8, and then this is five feet away, F8, and F5.6, and then this is eight feet away at F5.6, and F4.
So where I think this lens really shines is kind of that travel portraiture style. If you're walking down a street, you see somebody interesting, you want to take a photo of them kind of within five feet away. Uh, this lens is great for that. But once you get to these longer distances, that's where it kind of starts to fall apart. All right, so that is my brief review of this little Chinese-made plastic flash unit that is actually quite fantastic for traveling. Super slim, super small, and uh, yeah, it's been a nice addition to my kit. I can bring it up backpacking and hiking with me. You know, if I find myself wanting to use a little bit of flash while I'm out in the backcountry, super nice to have this little guy. I obviously didn't pick mine up via one of the Amazon links that I have found, so... If you end up buying one on one of those Amazon links, let me know how it works out for you. But it, it appears to be the exact same unit as this one that I picked up in Bangkok, just unbranded. If you have any other questions or concerns about this flash, feel free to leave me a comment below. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks so much for watching the video. I want to wrap things up by thanking the sponsor, Artlist. I'm coming up on my third year using Artlist, and it has been a massive game changer for me. I am very methodical about the way I use music in my videos, and Artlist provides high quality, authentic music that is entirely copyright free. But now, Artlist is a whole lot more than just a copyright free music library. They've evolved into an all-in-one platform for content creation. Artlist offers high quality curated music and sound effects with a fantastic filtering system to help you find tunes that fit your project. They also have a library of stock footage, designer video templates and plugins, and even a video and imaging editing software. Recently, they actually partnered with London-based graffiti artist Luke Smile to create a motion template for After Effects. The murals that Luke created were animated and can be customized within After Effects to provide a really unique digital asset to elevate your personal work, advertisements, or social media content. I'll leave a blog link in the description if you're interested in learning more about this project. If you're looking to elevate your creative work to the next level, check out Artlist and head to the link in the description for an additional two months free.